Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again, and another episode of Statistical Function and Formulas in Excel. So in this video, we are going to cover another important function, which is called Max Ifs in Excel. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because in upcoming days, months, or years, we're gonna explore each and every functionality of Excel. So let's get started. So here we have a demo sheet where we have a name of the students, we have an orientation of these students in male or female, and we have a marks they scored in a subject or what however you want to portray and we have a classes of these students the classes of 11th or 10th just like that so max ifs what is max ifs max ifs returns the maximum value based on one or more criteria this is the definition of max ifs so max we have also covered in our statistical overview video if you want to learn more about statistical functional formulas in Excel, you should follow the playlist which you can find the link in the description box. In this scenario, we have these particular columns to fulfill. If you want to practice it with me, you can download a worksheet in the first link in the description box. It will redirect to our website which is exceltutorial.net. There you will get the file below our player. So in the first part, we want to find topper female. So we know the female is denoted as a fa and we want to find a maximum value of female or you can say the topper female in any class so the classes is not defined here so we will find only with i think a one criteria here which is topper female so without further ado let's open our formula of max ifs here there you go so max range it has three main arguments here first argument is max range so in the max range part we need to select the number part which is the marks so we will select this particular range here so moving towards this next argument which is the criteria range so our criteria range is female so we need to select the female range wherever the female range is uh, defined here we have this b to to b14 and the criteria for the criteria we need to define f here because we are going to find the top of female so we need to define the f so put f in between the quote and unquote close the parenthesis there is no more criteria to fulfill right now so there you go so we get the topper number is 93 here okay so let's do the practice of save using this same formula in the next part which is topper male so let's just cancel it and put it right here so the formulas will be same as we can see we have selected the max range and criteria is also the same because we are going to put a criteria of m here which denotes the male and the criteria range is similar to the orientation we have selected before and in between the quote and encode which is the criteria one we need to just enter the letter m here right and just put close the parenthesis and click enter so there we get which is 85 so if you have understand something until now please click the like button because it, it will motivate us to post more and more videos just like this so in the next part we have a two criteria okay so we have covered the one criteria and next is one or more criteria which is the second criteria okay so in the next part we have a two criteria here top of female in x how is the two criteria first is the criteria range will be the female male right and the next is 10 which is the class section here so we need to select the both range so there will be two criteria. and for that part first let's just open max ifs function so here we have a max range max range should be our values range and for the first criteria it will be the same like we have done previously the range will be this and the criteria will be f in between quote and unquote so in the next criteria we need to fulfill that 10 part here so how we can do that so for the 10 part where the 10 value is we need to select that range first so for that we have selected this range and for the criteria to fulfill and we need to put x in between quote and unquote just like we have done f so there you go we got the 93 which is the topper marks as we can see there we go so 93 is the topper marks the same way we are gonna do just copy this formula and the same way we're gonna do the next part which is the top of email in 11 section or you can say 11 class so we just need to put a one here there you go so we get the 90 marks here 
with an adamant yeah there you go so to top of female marks in class 11 is 90 so hope you understand until now how you can use this particular function which is called max ifs to find such values so moving forward we have a topper we have to find the topper male in 10 so same as this particular formula so we will just copy and paste it we just need to specify m here because we want to find topper male in class 10 so there we go we get d81 this is d81 yeah there you go and now we just copy that 11 one part and paste in the next scenario which is the topper male in 11 we just need to specify m here there you go so you get the topper male in 11 marks which is 85 so hope you understand how you can use max if function and find maximum value based on your mention one or more criteria as if you have find this video useful please click the like button and in the next video we are going to learn min ifs function so stay tuned in tomorrow we will post that video so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it because we are going to cover each and every functionality of excel and if you want to share this video you can also use the share button so see you in the next video of min ifs until then bye bye